Hi, this is Michelle at Michelle James Designs and I'm back with another fun Photoshop video tutorial. Today we are going over some of the fonts. Um, basically font size and how it looks in Photoshop when you want to choose a font. Um, you want to be on the text tool, that's the T here, and that shows this menu bar here. And then this is the font Arial that I'm on. And it, this little drop down menu shows all my fonts. And I do have a lot of fonts, but look at this size. How can I even see that? It is tiny. Nobody can see that. Well, I don't know. If you're young, you can probably see it, but I'm old. So I need a larger um, font so I can see what I'm choosing. Okay, so in order to do that, we're going to go to Edit and Preferences and then Type and you want to make sure this font preview size has a check mark in it and look at this see it said on small I don't know if that's a default or mm, this computer was my son's before that maybe he did that but I I think I loaded Photoshop so I don't know why it's there anyway so we're gonna click on this and what do you think should we try huge let's try huge and okay now let's go back and look at this there we go. Look how nice that looks. Except, the only problem with this is, since I have so many fonts, it's going to take me a while to get through them to the bottom. So I think what I'll do is go to File, or not File, sorry, Edit, Preferences. I'm going to do this again. Oops, that was wrong. Sorry. Edit, Preferences, Type. There we go and I think maybe I'll try large this time <laughs> and okay now let's see that's better see I, I can see them my old eyes aren't that bad but I, so I can see those and it may not take me as long to get to the bottom I think there is a way to separate your fonts like maybe categorize them in calligraphy type script uh, something like that. I'll have to figure that out and we'll do that in another tutorial. So that's what I have for you today. I would love it if you guys would go over to YouTube and subscribe to my channel. This is what it looks like. Here's me. I, I don't have my my screen set up here yet because my channel is very new. Uh, you want to make sure you have a an account with, with YouTube so you'll just need to set up a login and get a username and password. And then you can search for me right here under Michelle James, look for my photo, and hit subscribe over here. And see how sad, I have 8 subscribers, and I want more. And I would love to have it, if you guys would subscribe, that would be great. Then you can click on the videos, and you can see all the videos I've, I've created. And they're easy to find that way, and it shows up right here in your subscriptions that you would be sub subscribing to my channel. So that would be greatly appreciated. You guys have a great day, and I will be back next week with another Photoshop tutorial. Bye.